This Medical Minute is brought to you by Good Samaritan Hospital. Cardiac catheterization is a means of imaging the heart arteries. What we do is through a needle puncture traditionally in the thigh artery, we can slide catheters up into the area of the coronary arteries, inject dye, which will show us whether there's any blockages in the coronary arteries. Through those same catheters, we can do balloon angioplasty and stenting. Balloon angioplasty is essentially where we take a balloon into the area of blockage, and by expanding the balloon, we open the artery and increase blood flow. A stent is a metal prosthesis which we can expand in the artery, and that scaffolds the artery open and also increases blood flow, thus alleviating symptoms. What we've started here at Good Samaritan Hospital is a systematic approach where we are now doing those same procedures by, through the radial artery. By using the artery at the level of the wrist, we increase patient safety, we decrease bleeding by anywhere from 50 to 75 percent, and we increase patient comfort. Patients can get up off the table at the end of the procedure and essentially walk out of the room. Thus, there's no prolonged immobilization after the procedure that we've traditionally seen when we use the thigh artery. The studies have shown that the outcomes of doing imaging from the radial artery and treatment through the radial artery are comparable to that of the femoral artery. Ninety-five percent of patients are candidates for catheterization from the radial artery. Cardiac catheterization through the radial artery is not a new procedure. It's been in existence for 20 years. As equipment and training have improved, it is slowly increasing in its utilization. Given the successes we've had and the patient satisfaction that we've had since the inception of the program in October 2009, clearly the future is bright for this approach, and we're going to continue all efforts in this area. For information about heart care, visit goodsamcincinnati.com slash heart.